Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. Um, right in my hands is the nice house on the lake, number three, with the fourth issue coming out uh, this week. I kind of wanted to catch up on the third issue because this series is fantastic. It's really, really, really good. Uh, so it is written by James Tinian IV, Elvero Martinez Bueno is the artist and did the covers. Jordi Belair is the colorist. And World Design is a letterer. Uh, so for those who haven't read the first two issues, a bit of a spoiler. Uh, the story is a bunch of friends are brought together by a mutual friend, and uh, they're on a house by uh, on you know on a lake. And as uh, their first day kind of starts getting going, the world ends, and it turns out their friend isn't quite human. Uh, we're assuming alien, something of that nature. We're like not 100% sure exactly what the deal is. Uh, but this is a story of these friends who are kind of imprisoned in this house, trying to figure out what the hell is going on. You know, do they go and live their life? Do they go and uh, attempt to escape? Like, there's a whole bunch of emotions. There's a whole bunch of uh, thoughts going through it. And that's what these uh, past few issues, the past two issues have really been dealing with is kind of, you know, survivor's guilt, uh, you know, where do we go from there? Like, really interesting questions thrown out there for this group. Uh, the issue has been, uh, every issue has been fantastic. This is uh, one that's, you know, right there with you. Um, the big question that, we, you know, we have as readers is, you know, what's this deal with this house, with this location? Are they stuck there? Uh, can they get out? Like, how far can they go? What's with this, all these... Um, these uh, pieces of art and structures all over. And this issue kind of starts diving into that mystery a little bit of exactly how they're in prison and where they're in prison and exactly what is around them. Um, and the, the, and, and Tinian does this amazing job of allowing us as readers to explore this through one of the characters as they explore it. I mean, I think it's, it's a really fantastic issue of a lot of showing uh, as opposed to just telling, and I and we are brought through this mystery as as the the characters are brought through the mystery, and I think to me that's it's a really really solid way to go about the series and and show things off and, and tell the readers and teach the readers about what's going on. Really cool in that way, and and I think it's a fantastic series because of that and just the mystery that's there is interesting. Like I myself have no idea where this is going and and what's going on when. I think the other thing that's really great about the series is that there's such emotional heft to it. Like, you really feel what these characters are going through. You know, you can feel that they are uh, guilty about surviving. You can tell that some of them are distracting themselves, trying not to think about the outside world. You can feel the guilt about uh, that some of them feel. Like, it's all there for you to kind of experience with them. And I, I think in that way, it's it's really, really solid. Um, the series is absolutely amazing. And if you're into kind of like sci-fi horror, this is a must read. I think this is seriously one of the best comics to come out this year. And there's been some really, really good comics uh, coming out. The art is absolutely amazing, fantastic stuff. Um, just such, such beauty to it and such, at the same time, kind of horror underneath. There's just this... Something to the style that I think really captures the the dread and the fear within the comic. Um, this is amazing. I'm I'm one who's not the biggest horror fan. I'm absolutely in love with this series. I think it's beyond solid, beyond good, and just so entertaining. Um, highly, highly recommend it. Go get it if if you haven't been reading this series, you're missing out. Uh, this is one I don't know if I would uh, recommend in trade so far. I actually like. The issue by issue and like having to wait a month to find out what's going on. There's something about that anticipation, all that, I think that makes the series really, really good. Um, I think reading it in one shot is going to be a very different experience. So I I'm actually digging the monthly release as opposed to like this just being a graphic novel. Like I want to know what happens next, but that anticipation that having to wait is, is part of fun of the mystery of the series. Uh, as I said, go get this. Absolutely amazing. This is out in comic shops. Uh, you can get it. Uh, uh, fourth issue's out this week. We got a link beneath our video where you put it in your zip code to tell the comic shops uh, uh, near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some affiliate links. There are affiliate links, so we get a small percentage by doing that. It helps support our site, so thank you. And speaking of support, I want to, of course, thank you all for watching. I appreciate that. Uh, we do get digital uh, copies of the series from DC, and of course, want to thank them as well. If you're into comics, if you're into DC, DC Black Label, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all like graphic policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky.
Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.